Hello everyone! Today we are going to be working on the spreads to start off the new year. From my last year's reading journey, I have learned a lot about what worked for me in my journal to keep me accountable and what I think I want to add to help my productivity and keep my journal feeling fresh and inspiring. So without further ado, let's get into designing my title page. With this title page, I had an envelope that I thought had a really cute color scheme, so I knew I wanted to use it as my background. For the rest of the details, I made a circle using my lens cap as a base. We love being resourceful, and I made a title with the date to go in the center. I wanted to add more of that pink and purple, so I just used my mild liners to draw this line pattern on the background, accented with some thin washi tape and some flower stickers. I wanted to include a few of my favorite sticker packs, that is these Anime Girl stickers from the brand Candy Poetry. I think they are so cute and definitely one of my favorite sticker sets, so I wanted to give them a chance to shine on this page. The other side of this spread is basically blank, I just added more washi to the margins. I think I might come back and add something here later, but for now I think it's fine being this buffer area as we lead into the new year. The next two spreads I did were my book tracker. I first saw this design from Books with Chloe and I really loved it, since I like having a visual log of all of the book covers to remember the books by. For reference, each of my book covers is around 2.5 by 3.5 centimeters, and the frames I'm drawing here are 3 by 4 centimeters. My goal for this year is to read 30 books, which is what I read in 2021, so I did a little bit more than that amount for these two spreads. The next spread I did was the 12 books I want to read in 2022. As a base, I used this tissue paper to accent the corners, and I paired it with similar colored and themed washi tapes in tan and brown. I'm on having a full video coming out where I talk about the books on the spread and why I chose them. I didn't have all 12 printed out when I made the spread because I wasn't fully set yet on which books I would include, so there is space here for the other books to come. On the next spread, I created space where I can put the covers of my eventual favorite, least favorite, and recommended books of 2022. These ones I did by drawing out titles on other pieces of paper and then gluing them in. Since I knew I wanted to use the same tissue paper backing, and I wanted the titles to pop more. On the other side, I made space for my reading goals. I haven't written them in yet, but overall my goals this year are to read more books with both queer main characters and also by queer authors. For this next set of spreads, I wanted to track the books I read each month with a space to mark when I start and finish a book, since I really want to see how long it takes me to read a book on average. Overall, this spread is pretty minimal as the only colors I used were in the frames for each month number. And the last spreads we're going to be working on in this video is my manga tracker. I said before in my 2021 wrap up video that I wanted to keep my prose books and my graphic novels and manga separate because I read them in very different ways, so I wanted to track them in a separate section. Here I made the same frame I did for my other book cover, and I want to leave a space on the side where for each manga I can create boxes that represent each volume so I can keep track of where I am in the series. Obviously I haven't drawn this in yet since I'm not sure which series besides like one or two I'm going to be reading in 2022, so this spread is still very much a work in progress. But that is it for my 2022 starting spreads. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!